In March 2020, the dashboard and reports within the web portal were updated. In this video, we will look at the changes made and how you can benefit from these improvements. First, the web portal dashboard has been updated to now include a calendar control. The data reported is still the same, however, you can now view all sales across your entire business for different date ranges. As before, the dashboard will show today's sales for all registered tills by default. To view the sales for a different day, click the date picker and select a different date. You can now also click the daily drop down and select a preset such as weekly or monthly. Again, the dashboard will update automatically. Reports are still accessed by clicking reports in the top bar. However, the report category drop down has now been removed. Now, select the desired report from the first drop down menu. You will see the reports are still in their original groups. Select any desired filters and click the Run Report button. The report screen will now display a chart or graph of your data. To view the report data, click the Report Data control. Both the report data and report chart can be exported by clicking the appropriate export buttons. You can now quickly review different reports by selecting a different report from the drop down and clicking Run Report, all without having to re enter your filters. If there are common filters you apply for your reports, you can now save these for reuse within the web portal. For example, every month I want to run a monthly department report that only looks at my hot and cold drinks. First, I need to apply the desired filters and then run the report. Then click the Save button and name the report. To rerun this report, click the Report Selectors button. This will list all your saved reports. From here, click the View button to run the appropriate report. From the Report Selectors screen, you can also remove a report by clicking the trash can icon, or make a specific report the default one that is run when clicking Reports. To do this, click the star icon. This will then replace the daily shift report as the default option. Further information on reports can also be found in your user manual, and if you still have any questions, please contact your support provider, whose details can be found on the register menu or in the web portal.